My name is Anson Dorrance. I'm the women's soccer coach at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill, and we're excited about this new video series. We're convinced if you want to become an elite player, what's critical is the time you spend with the ball. So what we've done in this series uh, for beginning and advanced players is to show you ideas on what you can do on your own to become an elite player. Not only are these ideas uh, ideas that are fun with the ball, but also ideas that'll test and challenge you. Because we want to show you what the national caliber player is capable of with the ball, and we want to show you what you can do to get there. Inside, this is a little bit more challenging. Just using the sole of her foot, this is a whole lot more challenging. Nice move, nice move, nice move. We've assembled for you in this video are some of the elite college players, but also some active national team players and also some former national team greats. So there'll be a nice blend of the current uh, collegiate player, the current national team player, but also former stars of the U.S. Women's National Olympic teams. The personalities in this video are a couple kids that just returned from Russia playing in the U-20 World Championships, Casey Naguera and Tobin Heath. We've also got uh, kids that played in the U-19 World Championship in Thailand in Yael Averbush. Another personality, obviously a dynamic player, a gold medalist from the uh, Greek Olympics, Heather O'Reilly, will also be a part of this. Uh, one of the most dynamic and explosive strikers in the U.S. Women's National Team, Cindy Parlow is a part of this group, Lori Kolopny, uh, Lori Fair, and Kendall Fletcher. We've got some elite players, and hopefully what you'll see in this uh, video are ideas that have inspired them to become the players that they have now become, but also inspire you to become an extraordinary player in your own right. The whole idea behind this is we want to encourage you to spend time with the ball. If you look at an extraordinary player or a remarkable move, it didn't happen by accident. All this stuff happens because these young players were personalities long before they appeared on videotape. The stuff they did with the ball on their own, the investment they made in their own games, is what separated them. And we want this to separate you as well.